Hello and welcome to McMonka Studios. In this video, I'm continuing my M32 edit series, and today I'm looking at the effects section as it was requested by one of you. So let's jump, jump right into it. Okay, so we've got two things to look at here. We've got the effects tabs up the top of channels, and then we also have the uh, bus matrix um, channel selected down here. So looking at this, I've got effects two coming from, these are both inputs for left and right, bus six, and I've got effects three coming from bus five. So as you can see that here, pull reverb, bus six. This is a label I put on myself that's not generated by the um, software at all. I just knew what it was and labeled it that. Just to clear that up. So. That's, this is the bus, um, controls what sends to our effects channels. There's no effects actually on here. This is just what you use to input to the effects channels, which are on the AUX effects label. So I've got effects one, effects two, effects three, and effects four. Right, left, right for each. So a whole reverb comes out of this channel. So if you want to send an effect somewhere, you start with, uh, you move these. To that place. So if you got your main speakers, you have them up here like I do. And if you want to send something to an effect, like your wireless mic, go over to the side like we do for um, in-ears and stuff. You can also do it through sends. You can go and you can push that up. You can put lots of delay on it. You can also do that through here. You'll see that move up and down. Right. Now, you can also route effects to any of buses, I've heard. No one's requested this from me, so I haven't um, tested it, or I haven't really used it myself. But the way to do that is to have these selected. Come over, say your keys player wants some effect, give them a bit of effect one, or give them a bit of effect two on your delay, whatever it is you want to do. You can do that. Now, um, the comment that requested this video asked if you could send effects to other effects so you could get a chain going. In regards to that, I did test that on Sunday um, when I had a when I was in front of the M32. Um, I couldn't get it working. I had the input to the whole reverb. I couldn't get it going through. Uh, I'll show you how to do it, uh, and your mileage may vary, I couldn't get it going. In the future coming videos, I will be um, going through the different effects units, so there'll be some shorter videos in the next few weeks going over each effect, um, or each effect type, and what they do and how they sound, and I'll run a mic through my desk so you can hear them. First, I'll show you how this one works. So say I want to run these in a chain, I go to delay, send effect one to that, and I'm gonna reverb, send effect two to that. So then um, I look at it, effect one, so I would have the input coming into effect one, and then I would have that going to effect two, and then I could have effect two, going to effect three, but that's currently uh, not how they're running. Um, technically, I think I've done that wrong. But essentially, you would you would go grab the bus. This is my impression, because right? say you do it for in ears. You'd go grab the bus of the effect. So if we go back to effects. Um, it's kill me now. Just to it up to itself. Um, I would take. Delay and send, um, send effect two to it. And I'll take whole reverb, and so then into whole reverb, I would send a mic. Okay. So then there's a mic going into whole reverb, and then whole reverb is going into delay, and then delay, I guess I could send to the speaker, or I could compose to the speakers, however you want to do that. 
So that would be my suspicion on how to run, how to chain them. Otherwise, I'm not really sure. Um, theoretically, there should be an option to run them together because you might not want to send the raw signal to each one. You might want to. Well, there's lots of there's EQs and compressors in here, so you may want to put it through a compressor before putting it through an EQ or the other way around, rather than sending the raw signal to both and having them come out separately and not being affected by each other. So you should be able to. I didn't test it fully on Sunday. Um, I just tried a few things to see how it was working uh, and did this um, but it wasn't coming through the main speakers so maybe that was affecting it I was in the middle of something else I was just testing it out so I tried it again and see if I can get it working and I'll let you know um, I'll, I'll try it again in future videos and I'll, uh, I'll do it live and see if we can get it going but Overall, uh, as far as I can tell, there isn't an option for that, which is a bit of a shame. But that is how you do effects, how you wrap them to each other, how you wrap them to buses and all that. And I'll go through, there's a long list of effects here, as you can see. And I'll sort of go through and talk about, not all of them, but I'll talk about uh, general groups, you know, reverbs, delays, choruses, chambers, compressors, EQs, all of that. Um, there's also another band of effects here, which is all equalizers and stuff, and this is the stuff that you put on your output. So these go on buses. These can also go on buses. And um, but it can also be applied to like any of the channels or um, other stuff. Possibly if you changed this to uh, EQ, no, just buses. So the first, so one to four, you can go on the buses, and then five to eight, you go on the channels, or the buses, or the matrices, or the main outputs. As you can see, I have a graphic equalizer on my main left, right, to deal with any feedback or anything I may run into. So I hope you've really enjoyed that video. I hope it's answered uh, any questions you had. I hope it's given you lots of good information. If you do have any other questions about any area or effects specifically, do put them down in the comment below. I do respond to them. I will, you know, make a video about any subject um, related to all this X32 and M32 stuff that you need. Um, uh, make sure to get subscribed. You know, check out the playlist, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading more videos, and you know uh, where the information is, when the information is there, so you can stay up to date on all the knowledge of this software. So, go do some audio.